Have you ever heard of an alpha channel? What does that mean? Well, in a photo or a piece of video, every pixel is a certain color. But what if it's a graphic with a clear background? That clear background is part of the alpha channel. If you think of each pixel as a different color, it has RGB colors, red, green, blue. So a certain amount of red, that's one channel, a certain amount of green, that's another channel, and a certain amount of blue, that's a third channel. Most video and pictures have these three channels, red, green, and blue. But for a transparent background, none of those colors exist. But if you tell a computer, red equals zero, green equals zero, blue equals zero, it's going to show black, and that's not what we want. So you have to define a new channel to the computer, an alpha channel. It's a way of telling the computer, there is no color here. Please show whatever is behind it. Alpha channels can exist in still photos, graphics, or in video. For still photos, most of the time I use JPEGs, but when I need a transparent background, I'll use a PNG which can have an alpha channel. Therefore, JPEG versus PNG. And for high resolution video, a very high resolution video is ProRes 422. But if I want an alpha channel, usually for a graphic, I'll use ProRes 4444. This file type because a ProRes 4444 can hold an alpha channel so I can have the graphic and a clear background.